Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on this gorgeous little ghost bag. Oh ooh, look at that. It looks like it goes more that way than it does in the right way. <laughs> Your little one can pop their hand in there like so so they can fill it up with all the yummies and whatever else have you but it's kind of like an upside down ghost bag. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute I like it very much now if you wanted to make a larger bag because this guy's a little bit small so if you wanted to make a larger bag here's a picture of our oh how gorgeous is that one and that one we made last year that one is a relatively big bag so if you want to make a larger bag for Halloween that's the one to go to but for today we are working on this gorgeous little piece now uh really it's not recommended for newbies if you are new at crochet and you are struggling with stitches this is not going to be good for you because <laughs> this is a lot of fiddly bits in here and fiddly over here and there's fiddly everywhere. <laughs> All right, so just, you know, bear with me on that one. Um, and what else am I going to tell you? Nothing much really. Just that I used about 25 grams, half a skein of uh, hobby cotton. This is the 8 um, the 8-8 eight, eight cotton, which is an 8-ply cotton here in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, you could probably get away with using larger cottons. If you use a smaller cotton, your hand will not go in there. It's as simple as that. All right, so you need to use the 8 or a 10, which is an Aran weight, or a 12, you know, even thicker, you know, it doesn't matter. Bigger, the better. <laughs> All right, so we used 25 grams or half a skein of the white. Now, I wanted to make my border in black or a dark grey. Now I did want to get, make mine in black and I gave the winner to our giveaway. We had a giveaway here for Halloween. Um, and that was Madison, the lovely Madison. Now we gave Madison the black, a little bit of extra black from our capelet for the border row. But I just used orange for the simple fact that it was easier to see orange on uh, online, okay? You will need the size hook that your yarn calls for Mine called for a four millimeter hook, so I use the four. You will need your scissors. You will need two stitch markers and you will need that sewing, darning, weaving needle. Now, I think I had a little bit of an accident with it <laughs> in the tutorial. I think I left it in there too, but you don't see any blood, so that's good. <laughs> don't be, if, don't, if you're squirmish, look away, but you don't see any blood. You really don't. It's like a, a tiny little accident. It wasn't a big one. So I do that all the time with needles. You know, we're not good friends, needles and I. We're just like enemies and that's that. So I'm not going to talk anymore because our tutorial does go for a long time. I'm going to let you head off on your own and get started creating your gorgeous Halloween ghost bag. Good luck, guys. Alrighty guys, we're going to start off by making a quick slip knot, grabbing your tail end, wrapping it around your finger once and twice, holding it there and holding it down there. Grab your back loop, passing it halfway over, grab the other loop, passing it all the way over, pop your hook in, give everything a tug. All right? And now we're going to chain up two, and a chain is yarn over your hook, pull a loop through once, yarn over twice. All right? In that very first chain that we did, we are going to pop two single crochets. And a single crochet is, pop it in your stitch, you've got the two loops on top, one on the bottom, pull a loop through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, hold it there, we're going to pop a stitch marker in there. These next three to four rows can be a little bit tricky. Alright, so from here we're going to pop another single crochet in that same stitch. Pop your hook in, pull a loop through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that is actually your first row, two single crochets, okay? Now you're going to chain one, turn your work, okay? Now you can turn it either way, whichever suits you, because we're going to work in those stitches now. But I'm going to turn it like I'm turning the page in a book, just because it reminds me that's pretty much the way I turned it. In that first single crochet, you're going to pop two single crochets but you need a stitch marker in the first all right so let's just we're skipping that little chain that we did there before we turned and then we're going to go straight into the single crochet and that is that little v that you're looking at right there pop your hook in pull a loop through two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two grab your stitch marker and pop it through those two loops like we did before now you're going to pop another single crochet in there same space or same stitch I should say and there's your second one in that stitch marker you're going to pop 
two single crochets so oh, stitch marker the stitch marker stitch <laughs> right there so pop your hook in once you get your hook in if you want to take a stitch marker out you can it's a little bit awkward with this cotton and it's kind of tight everything's kind of tight it's okay uh, pull the loop through yarn over pull through two and you're going to do another one and there that's what you have that is your second row now your third row is going to be a little different you're chaining one turn your work again now we're not going to put our single crochet in there this time let me get a close-up so you know what I'm doing we're going to slip stitch into there so that means popping your hook in pulling a loop through pull it through to the loop you are in and we're going to do it again into the very next stitch pop your hook in pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop that you are in okay it's a little tricky because now we're only working on these two stitches <laughs> I know. So single crochet into your first stitch, pop your stitch marker in that stitch there. I know it's a little fiddly, trust me, it does get better, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> All right, and in your very next stitch, your last stitch that is, with your stitch marker in it, you're doing two single crochets. So one, I'm going to take that stitch marker out now. and two so you should have that and now we're going to chain one turn your work skipping that chain of course and putting two single crochets into that stitch like normal but you need a stitch marker in your first one there's one grab your stitch marker once it gets a bit bigger if you are confident you don't need to use stitch markers but I think in this these next three or four rows you really do need them okay so single again in the same stitch one into your next stitch and where your stitch marker is you're not putting a single you're putting a slip stitch so you just pop your hook in oh, let's take out the stitch marker it's a little bit awkward with it in there especially with the slip stitch pop your hook in pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop that you are in like so so you've closed up that area all right from here we are going to oops chain one turn our work yet again in our first stitch we're going to pop a single crochet like that put your stitch marker in okay the next few rows will start getting normal again or easy easier <laughs> single into your first single into your second and two singles into your stitch marker stitch at the end which is one and two let's take out that stitch marker I should have taken it out on the first one really tight my crochet too <laughs> which doesn't help all right so chaining one turning your work one single crochet into your first stitch hold it there grabbing your stitch marker another one in the same stitch and then one in the next whoops one into your second one into your third and then two into that stitch marker stitch right there okay so pop two single crochets in there one and two chain one turn your work single in your first stitch now you may notice with this stitch it's kind of veering off the sides that one right there is the chain that is your stitch so single in your first grabbing your stitch marker already <laughs> sorry guys I get sidetracked don't I and a single in in the same stitch again and then a single across there once twice three times four times five times getting easier yeah I think I may have split that stitch there yes I'm going to take my stitch marker out but in that stitch marker stitch you need to put two single crochets 
try not to split your yarn like I did. Well, the reason I split it is because it's really tight. <laughs> Don't do your stitches so tight, guys. Okay, one and two. All right, I was about to get the stitch marker again. No. <laughs> Chain one, turn your work. Single into your first stitch, uh, grabbing your stitch marker. So now we're actually growing our little ghost. Okay, he's growing. All right, single in the same stitch. And I believe nine across. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I was wrong. Seven, sorry. Six, <laughs> seven. I'm one row in, four, in front. <laughs> seven, not nine, seven. <laughs> Get it right, Mary. All right, now two into your last stitch. Two single crochets in that last stitch where your stitch marker was. One and two. Chaining one, turn your work. Now this is the nine one. <laughs> single in your first. <laughs> Wake up, Mary. Wake up, Mary. Too early in the morning for me. All right, stitch marker in. A second single crochet in there. Nine across. Trust me. <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, two. Whoops. Now let's put the yarn there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. Eight and nine. Oh, would you look at that? I'm right. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have it so close, should I? All right, two single crochets in your last stitch where your stitch marker is single uh, one single uh, two all right and that so far is what you should have now what I need you to do is to continue increasing on both sides putting two on one side two on the other and then your stitches in the middle for two more rows so your next row you should have 11 single crochets in the middle and then two on each side Okay, and the row after that, you should have two on each side and 13 single crochets in the middle. All right, so go ahead and do this row for two more rows, making sure you're increasing in each row, and I will meet you back here in a moment. All righty, guys, here I am at the end of my second row, and you should actually have 17 single crochets across, two in the beginning, two in the end, and 13 in the middle. All right, now don't forget to chain your one, turn your work. In your first stitch you are popping a single crochet. Whoops. The beginning of the row is like normal. It's going to change at the end of this row. Okay. And a second single crochet in the same space. And 15 single crochets across. So one, two, three. I'm going to pop this on fast for you and do your 15. Okay. Four, And 15. Now normally you would have put two single crochets in this side. But we're going to start closing this side up. So we're only going to be putting one single crochet in there. Okay. So just one single crochet. Take out your stitch marker. Chain one. Turn your work. You're going to pop a single crochet in the same stitch. Like so. I have a feeling I'm crocheting my hair in there. <laughs> Can you see it? I'm a duffer. I'll take that undone in our next row. Okay. So you got your one in there. And now you're going to do 16 across. One. Two. And off you go. I'll pop this on fast for you. Three. And... 15 and last one 16 across all right and in that stitch you are putting two single crochets so one and two 
Take out your stitch marker. All right, guys, that is what you should have so far. More of a decrease section here and more of an increase there. However, the next two rows, you're not going to increase or decrease or anything. You are just going to do single crochet across one way and then single crochet across. So let me start you off, chain one, turn your work and just a single crochet in your first stitch. Pop your stitch marker in and I don't think I need to show you. All right, so that's it. That's all you're doing, a single crochet across. Only one single crochet on each side, just normal single crochets across. Do two rows of that and meet me back here and get ready for pattern change. Alrighty guys, this is where you should be and you should still have 19 single crochets across. Now we are going to have a big pattern change. Well, it's not that big, but it's a pattern change. You are chaining one like normal, turning your work, but you're only doing a single crochet in the first two stitches. Let me get a nice close up for you. So single in your first, pop your stitch marker in. single in your second and in your next two stitches you're doing the slip stitches like we did down here so in your first pull a loop through pull it through to the loop on your hook do it again in the next hook in pull a loop through pull it through to the loop on your hook 11 single crochets across and off we go one two three four Five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry, I'm going fast. I'm sorry. Nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. I just get so used to going fast off air. I do apologize, guys. All right, so you've got your four single crochets left. Like we started here, you're going to slip stitch into the next two. So slip stitch one. Pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook, slip stitch the second one, pull it through, pull it through to the loop on your hook, and then a single in your next, and a single in your very last. Take out your stitch marker, chain one. You're going to repeat that twice, so two more times, all right? So head off on your own, do your two single crochets, slip stitch into let me start you off so you know what you're doing all right so chain one turn your work single crochet in your first single in your second all right so where your slip stitches are you're going to slip stitch inside that slip stitch so it's very tight you pop your hook in pull a loop through once oh, i forgot to put my stitch marker in there sorry guys pop your stitch marker in <laughs> I'm only rushing you guys just so that you can head off and do your two rows so you slip stitch into your first tight stitch slip stitch into your second they're supposed to be tight these two okay because they're slip stitches and then you single crochet across all the way until you get to your last one two and you're counting from here see those little V's there one two three and four when you get to your last four you slip stitch into the last two and then you single crochet into each of the next, all right? So you're actually repeating this row two more times. Do that and I'll meet you back here in a moment. All righty guys, here we are at the end of the row. You should have these little prominent dips by now. So chaining one at the end of your row like normal, yes. In that first stitch, we are slip stitching, not putting a single crochet, slip stitching. So there's your first one. Then you're going to do it again in the next one, two. And then you're going to do it in that very tight first stitch, three. They're very tight now, aren't they? <laughs> and your very tight fourth stitch. And in your very next stitch, we're doing a single crochet. And that's where you pop your stitch marker. All right. Right there. That's the start of your row on this side now, or the end of your row. All right, and then you're single crocheting all the way across until you get to your last four stitches. I'm not going to pop this on fast because we're, you know, pretty much there. All 
All right. Almost there, almost there. Here we are. All right. So what you've got is your one, two, three, and four, and there's one just before it. Don't forget that single crochet just before it. Okay. So now you've got your last four stitches. You're doing absolutely nothing in those last four stitches. Okay. But in that same stitch that you are in, you're going to put your second single crochet as though you're increasing at the end of this row. Don't worry about the beginning, but the end. All right. So for a start, just take out that stitch marker. You don't need it there anymore. Okay. That's the end of that side and that's the end of this side. So now we're working on these small amount of stitches. Okay. So you are chaining one, turning your work. And two single crochets in the same stitch. But first do your one, pop your stitch marker in there like so. All right, pop another single crochet in there and then single crochet all the way across your row. Now your rows are getting easier now because the bag is getting a little smaller. We will be adding that extra row as you saw the orange row. Yours, um, I actually allowed for a grey thread or a white thread and then black border rows. But I put orange so uh, it was easy for you to see and you can still use it for Halloween. All right, so the end of this row, we're almost there, last stitch marker. And then we single crochet in that very last stitch, the stitch marker. And there you go. All right, so that is now what you're working on, these stitches here. Chaining one, turning your work. Really? That's it? Well, no, that's not it. It's not finished. <laughs> that's the hard part for now. There's no more hard parts. The rest is easy. Trust me. All right. For this row, we are going to, we chained our one. We're just going to turn our work. And guess what? We are going to single crochet. First pop the stitch marker in your first stitch. Now, if you are an avid crocheter, you don't need your stitch markers at the moment. Okay. But for the rest of us, single crochet. That is really close. <laughs> Sorry about that. All the way across your row. I just wanted to have it close before to show you those little, you know, slip stitches. It was a bit tricky, um, but that's the trickiest part of the whole tutorial. The rest is so easy. All right. So you're doing single crochets all the way across. I think it's easy. <laughs> well, it's easy for me. <laughs> single crochets all the way across. I'm going to take my stitch marker out in a minute because I can see it split. Okay, but I'm going to pop it in that next one right there and then take out that stitch marker like so. Single crochet in that stitch right there. Chain one. Guess what? You are going to repeat this row four more times. Okay, that's all you need to do. Repeat that row four more times. And then meet me back here and what you will have is, oh, we're upside down, hello. You will have your arms done and you are repeating the four rows until you get to there. And then we'll do that kind of little shaped, it's going to look like a head. Well, I hope it looks like a head. <laughs> it's kind of rounded like a head. So repeat the next row for four more rows and I'll meet you back here in a moment. Alrighty guys, what you should have is that starting to almost look like a ghost. Not really, but it will. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so don't forget to chain your one, turn your work, single crochet in the first four stitches. But first pop your stitch marker in that first one. Like so. So a single one, single two, single three, and single four. Now you need to put one, two, three, four singles across there and then one, two, three, four, five singles in the middle. If you ended up with a different number, it doesn't matter. Just put two single crochets in the next few stitches until your last four, all right? But I, I would say it should be five. So single in your first, single in the same stitch. So you've got two in the first, two in your second, so you're bunching two in each stitch, yeah? Two in your third, one and two. Two in your fourth, one and two. Oops, oh, that two didn't work. Let's try the two again, two. And then two into your fifth 
stitch one and two you should have four single crochets left so single in your first single in your second single in your third and single in your oh, I might take that stitch marker out because I can see it split single in your last <laughs> all right and there you go chain one turn your work one row of single crochet but first pop your stitch marker in there and you're just doing one row of single crochet for now like that all the way across in every stitch okay easy and one in your last stitch there super easy yeah take that stitch marker out for a moment chain one turn your work single in your first stitch okay one now we're going to go single crochet five in a row so one two three four five and now what I want you to do is count six one two three four five six back and you're putting two single crochets in one two three four five six okay so put two single crochets in each of the next six stitches so one two in that first one one two in the second one one two in your third one two in your fourth one two in your fifth and then one and two in your sixth did i say six you need to have six across uh, one two three four five oops <laughs> take it out of the sixth one sorry guys single crochet one all the way across two three four five and six pull up a loop what yeah pull up that loop <laughs> what you have and let me grab this little guy here so i'm not sure if i need to do another whoops another row but I'll tell you in a moment all right so there we go we need to do a row of single crochets all the way across but that's just a plain row of single crochet and that's exactly what you're doing right here right now you've chained your one take out your stitch markers you won't need them there anymore on either side yay very exciting turning your work like normal and you are single crocheting the way across the road single in your next chain of one pull up that loop Ta -da. now before you go just check make sure and there you go all right so that's perfect now what you're going to do is grab your scissors and giving your work a cut pull that loop through we're going to add our uh, black this is the black that I was going to use the bright and black but it doesn't matter we're going to use orange today so that you can see what I'm doing all right so look, there's no there's no right or wrong side to this. Um, you're going to have to make another piece anyways. But when we put them together, one will be on the right side and one will actually be on the wrong side. So it doesn't really matter. Seriously, it doesn't. All right. So just, oh, I threw the wrong one away. <laughs> just start anywhere you like. Although I'm going to start on the opposite side to this. So you can just start anywhere you like that goes there so that's 
there so I need to start there that way you don't worry about it for now you start any way you like and when you do your second piece you're starting on the opposite side all right so I hope that makes sense in other words this side here I started the the peak I started that as a right side yes when I do this side it has to be opposite each other like a like a mirror looking at it in a mirror so when I go like this that will be the right side I'm hoping this is making sense don't stress too much about it if you if you do it on the wrong side I don't think it makes much of a difference it, I'm only trying to make sure that it looks the same when you look at it on both sides so it doesn't really matter okay but this is the way your right shot right side should be and on this side it should be on the opposite side okay don't forget you need to do that second piece but for now for now where did I start on here does it matter it doesn't really matter I just started up the top although I'm not going to start there this time because I've got the knot there I'm going to start where there's no knot okay so well let's go very simple first we're going to pull a loop just grabbing your little orange black whatever you're using pull the loop through uh, let's pass that thread over just so we can lock it into place it kind of helps us we crochet over crochet over it a little bit chain one single crochet in the same stitch that'll do we're going to fill up that stitch again with two single crochets later but for now pop your thread I'm actually going to crochet over a thread you don't need to if you don't want to um, actually I won't because I want you to see where I'm putting the hook we are now going to work along the sides and it's actually quite basic you can see every little space you can work into so jump into that next space wait a minute no don't do that yet pop your stitch marker in hello Mary wake up <laughs> wake up Mary okay single crochet into your next stitch now ordinarily I'd crochet over the tail but I'm not going to because I want you to see what I'm doing single crochet one single into your next two single in your next three and you don't even need to count all right you can see the spaces and if you accidentally miss a space you will be short when you're crocheting your piece to the other side but that can be fixed up too there's nothing we can't fix in crochet or you know fluff <laughs> if you will so when you get to, I don't know why I took that out when you get to these little corners right here okay see this little dip here you're going to come across the tight stitches for starters and I want you to crochet two together in that little dip so you're popping your hook in the last little hole that you see two loops on your hook keep it there jump straight oh really tight straight into that slip stitch pull a loop through yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook you just closed up a little bit let me have a look at the other one I might have done that too low oh no that's perfect perfect good good that's good all right now across there you are doing your single crochet one they're very tight and it doesn't matter if you drop a stitch to go over it like you're going down the bottom it doesn't matter it gives it a nice look anyway one mine are really tight oh two <laughs> <laughs> and three because we did the fourth one in there right so there's your third one right there and now we are doing two more single crochets in that little sleeve if you will one and two so in every corner you come to there will be three single crochets all right and then a single crochet in your next space single in your next and again in your next and so on until you get to a little corner not yet we're not there yet is that the corner actually that is the corner all right so single crocheting three in there so there's one two and three turning single in your next you can see these spaces easy single in your next and so on when you get to that little indent remember what we do we do two together okay so keep going there and I'm going to pull my thread out sorry guys and there we're nearly there it's a tricky indent here so just be weary one in the next you might find it a little bit spacey gappy like mine is it's okay and 
is that the indent? No, keep going one there. All right, so this is where we're doing this one and this one together. So pop your hook in fairly tight space and in the next one, like that, two together and then single. Oh, oh, single in your next stitch right there, like so. And single in your very last stitch. And this one here is a corner. So we're doing two more. One and two. And then single in that space right there. And then single in that stitch little space right there. That's a corner again. And you can crochet over that white tail. One. What do we do here? Three. Two. And three then see that space right there you're just doing a single crochet in there and the next space and your next and I'm gonna pop that tail at the back now because it's only gonna confuse you and then you're single crocheting all the way across so this part is relatively easy Oh, the sides are anyway so when you get to the middle bits <laughs> really tight middle bits um, that's when we have trouble well, you don't. I do. <laughs> well, maybe you don't. I don't know. But I have lots of trouble there. <laughs> all right. So that's what we're doing all the way across. So in there, do three single crochets. Two and three. And then single crocheting all the way across to the top again. We are doing our three single crochets right here. That's one, two, and three. All right. And then we're jumping into that stitch with a one, two, and three. From here, we're going to jump into that space there and there. All right. So it's a bit tricky. Pop your hook. Oh, it's very tight. <laughs> there with the two loops on your hook into the next stitch now you've got three yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook just give it a bit of a tug and then single crochet in your next space you see and in your next you know before when I said it was hard before it's still hard <laughs> it's difficult it's still difficult all right single crocheting all the way across now this is the easy part trust me <laughs> Well, I keep saying that, but the easy part never comes. Okay, all the way across. No, this one is. All the way across. <laughs> and we're nearly there. All right, so now we are at the very top corner there. You're going to pop your single crochet in the actual stitch, okay, and do a single crochet. One. All right, and then what are you going to do? Two and three. Why? Because it's a corner, all right? And then single crocheting all the way across this row. This is easy because it's a normal row. Yay, get excited. <laughs> it's a normal row. <laughs> she says as her yarn gets tangled everywhere. It's supposed to be an easy row, Mary. Get it right. <laughs> all right. Look, the rest, the rest is easy. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but it never gets easy, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to the newbies joining us. This must be really hard for you. But you know, it's okay. It's good. It's good to try your skills sometimes on, you know, something difficult. You can't do the easy things all the time. <laughs> Beauty is pain, trust me. <laughs> I've mentioned that before, haven't I? <laughs> Beauty is pain. All right. We're at the end of the row. Get excited. All right. So when you get to the end of the row, there's your stitch just before our corner, so complete that stitch. When you get to the corner, remember we only did one stitch in that corner. You need to do two more. One and two. And then you are slip stitching right... Oh, I might have to take out that stitch marker. Slip stitch into the stitch with a stitch marker, where that nice tight stitch is. Pull a loop through, pull up a loop and cut your yarn 
Now, what I want you to do when you head off on your own and do your second piece, you need to actually make sure that your right sides facing are on the right side. So I've crocheted this one over this way, right? When you do the other side, you don't start from here, you start from there, all right? So I hope that makes sense because you want it mirror imaging you. Head off on your own, do one more of these. Join me back here in a moment, leaving one thread not cast off, okay? So one thread isn't cast off. And then we will um, slip stitch both these sides together. All right, head off on your own, do your second piece, and I'll meet you back here when you're done. Alrighty, guys, we now have our two pieces. Before we continue, we need to weave in all these loose ends before we start. So let's just start with one that doesn't have the long bit to it, just so you can see what I'm doing. It's not too fiddly. Hopefully this needle is, oh, it's really thin, the eye. Oh, it worked straight away. That's good. <laughs> so with the white, what I want you to do is just weave it in. In fact, I'm thinking of weaving it in through the side of the bag. So what you're doing is you are just splitting some stitch in there. Now, just being careful, you can't see the needle from the front, like so. Now this is going to be inside the bag so you won't see it and cotton is so hard to work with when it comes to splitting yarn okay and now you're going to go down this way into the bag all right making sure you can't see the needle from the front if you can see the needle then you're going to see the stitching and you don't want that especially on the orange or black or whatever it is you're using and this is not working for me because splitting yarn just does not work well the bonus is because you know that's going to be so hard to get out it's also going to be so hard to come out so you don't need to over sew it <laughs> make any sense give it a cut there all right and that's your white done and with your orange you're just going to quickly thread it and of course this is all fluffy on me of course it is so quickly thread your orange, but that worked, really did. How about that? And do exactly the same. Find some places to weave that into. And I would always go in towards the side of your bag because we're going to crochet over that. No, we're not. We're going to slip stitch over the sides. We're not going to crochet over it. I thought of crocheting single crochet. We'll see how hard that is to get through. <laughs> but I think a slip stitch looks better in this case. However, if you wanted to, let's check that, if you wanted to single crochet your pieces together, by all means, I think it just makes it look a little thick. Oh, this needle just doesn't want to come through now. I think it's just too tight. Let's take it out and try it again. Look what it's done to my fingers. <laughs> That's how tight it was. <laughs> oh, this one should be okay. She says, as she can't get it through. <laughs> Hello. There we go. We're under control. That's not going to come undone. <laughs> take it like that and take it undone. With your loose oranges, we can actually crochet over that. And I'll show you how we do that later. But for the rest of the work, go ahead and weave in all these ends. Meet me back here in a moment and we will join your work. Alrighty, guys. I have all my ends weaved in except for the tail end of one of my sides and the working end of the other. Now, if your working end ended up all wrong and you're in the wrong side and it doesn't matter if you do it any other way, you're doing it inside out, then cut it and just add a new thread, okay? But in the meantime, these are the right sides of your work and that should be like a mirror image at the moment. And then you're facing your wrong sides together like so. So no matter which way you look at your piece, your right side is facing you, yeah? Now, hopefully your uh, thread ended up on this side. If not, you'll be on that side, which will be very similar to the way we're working, all right? If your threads ended up, you started down here, cut it and just add a new thread, all right? And where you're adding a new thread is in that very first, oh, let's get a close up, the very first single crochet that we did right there. Remember that single crochet where we joined our two single crochets together and then we slip stitched in the first? We are still in that first single crochet there, all right? But now that your pieces are together, you need to pop them in one single crochet on 
either side if you can't remember just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then from the middle it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm in the eleventh one all right so we're in there like so and right opposite is my stitch pop your stitch i'm sorry pop your hook in the stitch that you are in and the stitch on the other side don't forget before you do any of that make sure you've chained one here like you've got a chain one pop your hook in that stitch right Ooh, tight stitch right there and right in the opposite side there pull a loop through right don't we're not doing a single crochet but you can if you want if you prefer single crochet by all means but I'm doing a slip stitch I find it looks a lot um, prettier with this so slip stitching right into that stitch that you own without splitting the yarn all right now if you wanted to use your white to do this part make it look pretty you can okay but I'm going to stick to the same color that I have slip stitch right into the very next stitch on that side and the very next stitch on the other pulling your loop through and through in there in there through through all right that's what you're doing all the way across your work when you get to your corners you're just going through every stitch in your corner you're not adding stitches taking stitches off you're just going through every stitch and when you get into that really tight area and I'll show you that in a moment because we're almost there. And if I can get to it. All right, we're almost there. Here we go. That's the one before the corner. Okay. I might, actually, might be the one even before the corner. There's another one before the corner again. Sorry right there now the corner stitch is remember those two together we did you're popping your single crochet just in the stitch that's it that's it you're not doing anything unusual you are just single crocheting all the way across your piece I'm not I'm sorry not single crocheting let's try slip stitch wake up Mary <laughs> see now we're at the corners we're not doing anything different. We are just slip stitching in the first. Oh, that tight stitch. <laughs> and slip stitching in your next. Which is also another tight stitch. <laughs> and in your next and so on. I don't think I need to show you anymore. I think you know what you're doing. And let me show you exactly the way it's going to come out. It's a little bit tough and, you know, it's a bit stiff. It's just this yarn too. It's really thick. Okay, and that's what it should look like on the inside. Doesn't matter, you're never going to use it. And that's what it should look like on the opposite side. You can't even tell that you've slip stitched. Now, just being weary that you're not splitting your yarn around the other side, okay? So that's all you need to do. Slip stitch all the way across. When you're getting to your grooves, getting into your grooves, when you get into your corners, just continuing along all the way, all the way. Now, once you get to here, Oh, one or two stitches before the corner it doesn't matter or roughly around the corner let's just do I'll, I'll do a close-up for you so you can have a look oh, it's really tight stitching I'm in a lot of trouble later <laughs> I really am <laughs> don't do them so tight um all right so when you get to that's your corner right there and if you're working the other way your corner will be two stitches before all right so Continue along the way, all the way around, get to the second last stitch before that corner and I shall meet you up here in a moment. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of this row. I'm going to take out my stitch markers. I think I'm about a stitch or two stitches before. Don't stress, we'll get a nice close up and have a look at where we are. Alright, so I'm going to pop my hook into the last stitch there. Now don't worry if yours didn't matter add up it doesn't matter because the ghost is meant to look crooked now I'm thinking that's a really big gap and that's a really big gap we might actually thread that thread through that gap I might just close it a little bit so for this part here we're going to slip stitch into the very next stitch it's a corner stitch I just would like to close it up and see what it looks like closed up let's have a look 
that's so much better all right now you're going to pull a loop through don't cut it okay just grab your sewing needle because I think we will actually what happened to the needle look look don't you love it <laughs> it just went through the skin so there's no I had to pull out to do is pick it up I'm so clumsy all right so we're going <laughs> just grab that last thread okay like so I think we should have slip stitched one more stitch there so that's my mistake sorry guys so what we're going to do is just <laughs> it was so funny um <laughs> we're just going to grab our tail and pop into that stitch oh, right away there pop into that stitch there and right into the opposite stitch like so and just give it a tug we're going to be crocheting over that so don't stress too much yeah then I want you to just go back the other way into that stitch pull the loop well pull the thread in give it a tug we're going to be crocheting over that turn it in and weave your end in here now you've got a lot of threads here there's no way you'll be able to see that end <laughs> so there's so so much you can uh, pull through there oh I'm gonna go through trouble getting this through the cotton oh here we go I've just pinned it again look oh, don't give me pins guys it's just far too dangerous for me <laughs> it's far too dangerous I'm not gonna weave it in anymore it's so tight that is no, there's no way that's coming undone no way <laughs> no way plus I don't want to pin myself again <laughs> all right so remember we ended off there before you love it <laughs> can't take me anywhere anywhere but out all right we're here yeah what I want you to do is just you've chained your one we're just going to go into the very next stitch with a single crochet popping your stitch marker that's what you're going to slip stitch into at the end of this row I'm sorry guys this tutorial is taking a long time so single into your next and your next and your next all right i'm going to pop this on fast just until we get to the first corner and i will meet you there in a moment so i'm going to pop it on fast and get to your very first corner off we go all righty guys we're almost there let's get a nice close-up for you i've got one stitch there one there all right and now we've got this section here i want you to go into a space of that section i'll take it out so you can see it's a little tiny stitch there do a single crochet over it and then oh really tight stitch here and that's because we did some weaving in there remember and then we do a single crochet there single in your next stitch and you're just going around and all we're doing is actually reinforcing those side seams all right we're not really doing anything I didn't really want to do this last row of single crochet and that's with the yarn I just wanted to reinforce those edges they won't come undone but they're done now so that's a bonus and the best part is we're not casting off at the end of this section either because we're going to do the handles yeah and the handles are real simple handles are the most easiest part of this whole tutorial <laughs> seriously <laughs> they're easy it's just getting them in the right spot but it doesn't really matter because there's no right or wrong place to put your handles just make sure they're wide enough so that the young one can pop their hand through it I think I'll be casting on a chain of 30 if that helps and you're wanting to head off but we're right here now so it's pointless <laughs> see we're right here all right so mm, I can get into that top. look at that stitch talk about tight oh my gosh and then there's a stitch there all right and then we've got that center stitch right there yes do your center stitch take out your stitch marker you're going to slip stitch into the stitch of the stitch marker probably should have left it in but anyway like so so now we're chaining one and in the same stitch you're going to pop another single crochet pop your stitch marker in there you're thinking what another one mm -hmm. because we're working on the chains now yeah single in your next one 
single in your next two and let's do another one three all right now we are going to chain 30 from here and then when we've chained our 30 it'll be three in from there maybe four we'll see all right so just go ahead and chain your 30 and I'll pop this on fast for you and it's off we go one two Twenty-nine, thirty. 30 all right so we've got our 30 chains now we are going to single crochet so let's go one two three oh, hang on there's a corner sorry one two three and four get into that stitch with a single crochet like so pull up your loop for a minute now what I want you to do is to make sure your chains have not turned all right, so this is where we started. Just run your fingers along that chain like so. And there you go. It hasn't turned because if you've slip stitched it that way, it's going to be crooked and it's not going to match up later. So make sure your chains have not turned. Now you're going to do your one, two, three, and four across now what you do you don't have to be accurate if you don't want to have a look see if it doesn't look right but I think that's fine yeah roughly three four across it doesn't matter okay because it's it's supposed to look a little bit out of shape anyway so if you've made a mistake it doesn't matter single one in your next two three and four and what you're going to do you're going to chain 30 yet again let's do that on fast all right off we go Twenty-nine, thirty. all right whoops i'm even out of frame there i hope i wasn't out of frame it doesn't matter this is only on fast anyway for you <laughs> once again you're going to that corner it's one two three four I think the fourth is right in there right there actually it's one two three four yep pop your hook in pull a loop through and you're doing a single crochet once again checking that your chains are straight all right so there we go all the way through like so they are perfectly straight yes and now we single crochet one two three four get excited guys we're almost near the end of our work not yet <laughs> don't get too excited um have i got one there to go into or not no that's just a slip stitch to join now <laughs> in that tight stitch slip stitch into the tight stitch <laughs> oh slip stitch into the tight stitch chain one single in the same stitch actually no don't single i'm sorry because this is our final row i know it sounds ridiculous but it is slip stitch in the same stitch slip stitch across and slip stitch across but when you get to your chain so hang on you need to slip stitch one more into the stitch first i'm sorry i'm too far away let's get close up here all right so there's our very first stitch right there it's a little tight for me hopefully yours isn't so tight we are doing a single oh wow that is really tight don't do them tight guys seriously honestly <laughs> single in your first stitch i'm not going to let you sit here and watch me go through these tight stitches just go through them the way you want there's no right or wrong way of doing this there we go it really is tight don't do them so tight guys i'll tell you what so that you don't have to sit here and watch me do them single crochet into your chains get to this section right here the very first section and i'll meet you up here in a moment all righty guys that took me forever <laughs> don't do your stitches so tight well i found that the last five or six stitches oops i'm out of frame uh were quite loose so that's not too bad now i'm in my last stitch there and i'm going to jump straight into that stitch there with a slip stitch 
one slip stitch into the next let's get a nice close up so you can see this slip stitching all the way across your piece like so until you get to your next chains now this is why it was important to do your chains straight okay or to connect them straight because otherwise we have to take all this undone <laughs> <laughs> and I look it's happened to me in the past so you know don't be surprised if it ever happens to you we're slip stitching into the last one like so and then we are single crocheting into your very next first <laughs> tight chain and the same all the way across your chains guess what I'm not gonna let you sit here and watch me do this one <laughs> because it's they're just so tight look at them Oh, look, forget it. <laughs> we'll do this off air. Single crochet in each stitch. <laughs> That's what you do for crocheting too tightly. When you get to this section right here, stop there and I'll explain what you're going to do next. All right. Head off on your own, single crochet over the chains and I'll meet you here in a moment. All righty, guys, I'm here at the end of the row and I really found that very, <laughs> very trying. And that that very last stitch was really tight for me. So we are going to now pop into the single crochet from the row below with a slip stitch. One. Slip. Mm, if you can get in there. Slip stitch. Two. Slip stitch. Three. Slip stitch. Four or five, depending on how many you've got left. And then I forgot to put a stitch marker, but you are slip stitching. Oh, look how tight that is. <laughs> into the tight slip stitch from the round that we just started. So very first stitch we slip stitched to begin with. Pull the loop through, pull up a loop. Now, before you cut your work, check, check your um, handles. Are they big enough for your young one's hands? Well, if they're big enough for my big hand, trust me, they're big enough for your young one's hands, all right? Now, if you didn't like it there and you wanted to bring your handles further over, take these undone, do it again. If you didn't like it there and you wanted to bring it closer, which will be really awkward because the young ones will find that really awkward. Um, so really further apart is better. If you are happy with the whole thing, give it a cut, pull your loop through, turn your end in and weave it inside your bag. And there you go, guys, your, oh, let's hide that tail right there, <laughs> under there, shh, we weaved it in, don't tell anyone. All right, and don't forget to, now it looks bad, <laughs> shh, <laughs> don't forget, guys, to join us tomorrow to complete our capelet for Halloween, and join us next week to make our spider and our spider web, the last two projects for our Halloween Oh, very exciting. Um, <laughs> we've already completed this guy right here. Isn't he gorgeous? We've completed this pumpkin uh, the other day. I will leave a link in the description box down below for that pumpkin and for this particular bag that we made last year for Halloween. Now, this bag is so much bigger than the one that we've made today. So if you want to make that one there, by all means, go ahead and make that one as well. All right. And you can also use the eyes to that one to make uh, eyes and a mouth on your bag. For this bag, if you wanted to put eyes on your bag, I would start by putting a real big one there and a tiny one here or a big one there, tiny one here, and a mouth that's crooked. I wouldn't do a straight mouth because that is a ghost seriously guys that is your little ghost done thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys well pretty much already do for me and all i want to say right now is ooh, <laughs> ciao for now <laughs>